Hi, I'm George Black, a Leeds Beckett University student. In this vlog, I'm going to be looking at my own personal buying behaviour and how I get influenced on what product I may consider buying for myself. I'll be looking at market theories I've learned to relate these theories and buying behaviours to me, so let's get into it. To start off this vlog, I need you all to understand what consumer buying behaviour is. The well-written definition of this is consumer buying behaviour is the study of the process involved when individuals or groups select, purchase, use or dispose of products, services, ideas or experiences to satisfy needs and desires. This is revision definition by Solomon et al of 2006. I will be looking at my own purchase choices when it comes to looking at buying a new pair of trainers. When looking at purchasing a new pair of shoes, I tend to buy Nike shoes. This is due to being it being a first choice of mine due to me growing up around the products. So it has become an impulsive habit of mine to purchase this brand. So, we're going to be looking at the Gomes A and Richardson theory. This theory consists of five stages of going to custom making a decision. The five stages are as follows. Problem recognition, information search, evaluation of alternatives, product choice and product outcomes. The first of the five stages is product recognition. So for this, we're going to be looking at the first time I had to purchase shoes myself. So there was a time in my life where all my shoes had been purchased for me and I had to purchase some for myself and I had to figure out what I like and what I wanted. I had to use limited problem solving as this was a less frequent purchase for me and I knew I needed a pair because I was realising my old ones were becoming damaged and very worn. As this is not a regular purchase for me, I needed to make sure I put a little bit more thought into it as I needed a pair that would, I would, could purchase that would last me multiple months and that I could ensure that I did actually like the product. Once I noticed this, I would go through to step two, which is information search. This is because I would never had to purchase them before myself, so I didn't have much of an idea where to get them from. For me, this was as simple as going on Google and searching Ignite Trainers on the internet, and this presented me with what I was looking for. On the internet, I was presented with a bunch of shops and products. Due to the technology I had access to, this makes it this stage very easy, as I could have easily find products, prices, reviews, giving me the ability to compare and choose which products I shop to purchase from. Technology nowadays has a big impact on this. Customers can be persuaded into purchasing through honest reviews, but can also be tempted by biased, untrue information. Through this technology, I found celebrity endorsements of England football players wearing the night trainers. This links in with Fear et al's 2019 theory. This made me believe in the, that the perception that if I brought these trainers, my football performance would be improved as I played the sport myself. And as these footballers were idols to my childhood self, I saw these as influential individuals who had an influence on me and other people around them. This thus affected my opinion in the end. This is a good example of an opinion leader. Once I've done this, I moved on to the next step, which is evaluation of alternatives. As I was presented with loads of different stores that stocked the shoes I was interested in, I had a choice of multiple businesses such as Nike.co.uk, Foot Asylum and Foot Locker. I had to make a choice between these in order to continue with my purchase. I evaluated each one based on price and customer satisfaction to help me with my choice. The next stage is product choice. I ended up choosing Foot Asylum for my night trainers as they had the best prices and offered me student discount, which is really useful to me. The trainers I wanted was fairly priced with the discount, so I was happy to continue with the purchase from them rather than their competitors. This made me feel valued from the brand that they are willing to provide fair prices to me due to my current situation. This made me to begin some sort of brand loyalty towards them. This brand loyalty which I still have to this day. I can link this to self-concept theory as I can look at how one day I want to run my own fair ethical business, providing fair prices and not ripping people off. As I'm very unethical myself, I don't like supporting greedy businesses, but like to take advantage of customers. Stage is outcome. This is an important stage as it could ensure the customer has customer loyalty towards a business. In the end, my shoes was comfortable and stylish and fairly priced with a discount. This has made me become a loyal customer to Foot Asylum. Now, if I ever need a new pair of shoes or clothing, Foot Asylum instantly jumps in my head as a nostalgia from when I first purchased it. And I Foot Asylum has also become a bit of a compulsive buy for me as I proceed to purchase from them as this is all I know and I am used to, so I consistently hold my loyalty towards them as a business. To summarise, technology has a big impact nowadays throughout this whole decision making process, and the process is much different now than it was 10 years ago, as customers can access a lot more crucial information online and get a lot more details. I am happy with my purchase as a whole, and I still have the shoes to this day. So thanks for watching my vlog, hope you enjoyed.